about how to export a SOLIDWORKS file to Autodesk 3DS Max. First we go to import and we're going to select format. You can see here it will say somewhere SOLIDWORKS if you look very closely. I have to and I can't find it right now. Here it is SOLIDWORKS again parts and assemblies. Then you're gonna find, you need to find your SOLIDWORKS part of assembly. I will show this with a assembly. We go to SOLIDWORKS downloads. We're gonna use the sonic screwdriver. It is an assembly. And before we click on open, you need to have opened SOLIDWORKS. I don't know why, just do it and it will be fine. I'm gonna click on open, it's real translating it, 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 this might take a while. Bigger objects means longer loading time. And the sonic screwdriver is a bigger object. And when this is done, it will create different objects. And they are not linked in any way. And you can see they are now done here and you can click close and there you have it it will import textures textures and colors from SOLIDWORKS which is nice I'll alt W to view to give it a big screen and you can now see it have you have your sonic screwdriver and I'm using alt and the mouse screw wheel to rotate Now you can link all this together for animation and, and whatsoever. Now you can just save it as a 3ds Max file. Scenes, music, Sonic. Sorry for my bad, bad writing. I already have runs. Save it, and there you have it. It's now a 3ds Max file. Oh, I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope you learned from this. So please like and subscribe for more tutorials about SOLIDWORKS, 3ds Max and Cinema 4D and all other CAD software. See you the next time. Goodbye.